Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're upgrading the steering wheel on this Jeep to a custom carbon fiber one that just showed up. Let's go. All right, so for the people that may have missed the video that I uploaded about a week ago showing when I did the insole on all of these carbon fiber pieces, I mean, we got everything right here. Carbon fiber, we got the AC bezels, we got the handle, um, even inserts over here on the doors. Um, this is gonna be carbon fiber also. I ended up finding out that I did purchase it, but the vendor, I guess, forgot to ship it. So they're gonna make it right, they're gonna send it over. But the point is, in that video that I uploaded about a week ago, in the description of that video, you will find the Amazon links for all of these pieces in case you wanna upgrade it on your Jeep. Now the link to that video, you can find it in the description below. Now we're gonna go ahead and unbox the custom carbon fiber steering wheel that I have been waiting patiently to receive. But first, make sure you go ahead and click on that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you can sign up for notifications. And I wanna thank all of my new Corvette subscribers. Keep in mind, I already have a deposit down and have a C8 Corvette on order. As soon as it shows up, we're gonna be doing a ton of Corvette videos. And in the meantime, I'll be keeping you guys up to date with any Corvette news, anything that comes up, I will be keeping you guys up to date. Anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this carbon fiber steering wheel so you guys can see what it actually looks like. Okay guys, so as you can see, it's all carbon fiber over here on the top. You got the red stripe. On the sides, I did perforated leather and we did red stitching to match the red leather interior that I did on my Jeep. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna pop the hood, disconnect the battery, because you don't want that airbag going off in your face while you're doing the install. Also, for the guys that are wondering about my watch, this is a geared hardware watch. Very cool watch, use this watch all the time. So guys, if they support the JMC Rides channel, do me a favor, support them. I'm gonna go ahead and include a link to the watch in the description below. All right guys, so on this steering wheel, there's two 10 millimeter bolts, one right here and the other one right on the other side. I already went ahead and removed the other bolt that was right here in this hole right there. Once you remove those two bolts, you should be able to remove the airbag assembly. Let's see. It's definitely those. Yep. Try and do this one-handed, guys, so you can hold the camera. But here we go. So I have this thing right here. I'm just gonna put down the camera real quick so I could disconnect all these plugs. Okay guys, so there was basically just three plugs. You got the yellow and black, and then you got this other bigger black one right in the middle. Unplugs in two seconds, not a big deal. Everything is pretty much color matched. In other words, when you put it all back together, there's only one way to put it back together, so you don't really have to worry about remembering which cables go where. So now this is completely free. Let's go ahead and put this down right over here. So I see we have one more plug over here on the top. Let's see if I can just unplug that while I hold the camera. Uh, yep, very simple also. All right, I think we are completely unplugged. All right, so now this is the main bolt that is holding the steering wheel. I've seen other YouTube channels doing this and they said that they needed a steering wheel puller. Hopefully that's not the case for me because I don't have one. Um, I'll be using my arms as a steering wheel puller. So let's see how this goes, guys. Okay, so for the people that are curious, um, the size of that bolt, it's a 13 millimeter bolt. Gonna go ahead and remove this. I'm pretty sure this, I will need both hands to do this. Okay, not too bad. Probably should have just used my drill, would be faster, but it's all right. Get a little bit of a workout during this install. Here we go. We all know I gotta drop a few pounds before I take delivery of that C8 Corvette anyway, so I'll do this by hand. For the guys that have been wondering about my uh, whole fitness channels or the other YouTube channel that I had going, um, still in the gym, once, at least one to two times a day. All right, so it looks like it has some kind of orange Loctite. You can see some of it is right over there. Um, that's pretty much it. So I think we're pretty much free to pull this whole thing off. Let's see. Oh, this is not even budging. This is like seriously in there. I don't think this is gonna come off like this. Okay guys, so looks like I'm definitely gonna have to get a steering wheel puller. When I removed the steering wheel on another one of my vehicles, I was able to just pull it off pretty easily. This thing, it's not budging. I pulled on this thing like a maniac. It's not going anywhere, so I'm wondering, am I allowed to turn on the Jeep with, while everything's unplugged? Cause we're gonna have to go to the auto parts store to see if they have a steering wheel puller that we can rent. All right, so I just called AutoZone. It turns out they do have it in stock. I put the bolt back in just because, you know, I mean, this thing ain't coming off anyway, but hey, with my luck, I don't want a steering wheel falling out while I'm driving. I, I'm, very unlikely. 
Okay, so I don't recommend you do this, but I am driving around without the airbag or horn assembly installed. I got the airbag light on, obviously, since it's not plugged in. But yeah, guys, don't try this at home. All right, guys, so we're here at AutoZone right now. Just rented a steering wheel puller. This is what comes in the box. This is different from some of the other ones I saw on YouTube, but here you go. I got it upside down. But here you go. This is basically what comes. Never actually really done this before, so we'll figure it out. I just can't wait to see that carbon fiber steering wheel installed in this Jeep. Hopefully we won't need the airbag on the way home. Hmm, you know what, guys? You know what's actually very odd? My window switches on the front windows do not work when this whole airbag and horn assembly is unplugged. Okay, so I just finished watching a couple of different YouTube videos on how to use one of these things, but in my case, it doesn't really apply. This thing would never really work because you see, you have all these extra screws. You're supposed to take this, line it up in the center hole, but most of the most of the other people who have the steering wheels, they got like two holes on the side that are threaded. And then you're supposed to use these screws to kind of hold the tool in place. And the more you screw this, it'll pull the steering wheel. But as you can see, I don't have any holes on the side where I can actually thread these other screws. So this tool is actually pretty much pointless. So I'm just gonna start banging around on this steering wheel to see if I could get it to come off the hard way. So I started yanking on this like freaking animal. And then what I ended up doing was using, you can probably see maybe my forearm looks like a little, a little red, but I was using my forearm as a mallet, I guess. And I was just pretty much banging the hell out of it from the bottom. It actually came loose. It's completely loose now. Now I can actually pull it out gently, no problem. So let's go ahead and continue with this install. And I'm gonna go back to AutoZone to return this crap because this was useless. And this, my friend, is what it looks like when the Jeep has no steering wheel. Old steering wheel right here. Now I'm gonna try and line this up and let's see if it actually works. All right, guys, so I was actually able to go ahead and slide this in with no problems. That's what she said. <laughs> you see this little marking on the bottom? That's supposed to be right there at the bottom. You see that little dimple on the top? Just kind of lined it up with that dimple that's right there. Also, you see that you have this little pin on the bottom too that has to be centered right there. Okay guys, so I had to remove the carbon fiber steering wheel. This is actually very frustrating and it's annoying already because this is the second carbon fiber steering wheel I order. The first one was for my wide body Hellcat that's inside the garage. That one did not fit correctly even though the manufacturer swore that steering wheel was meant for my Challenger, but yet it didn't fit. Now that for the one on my Jeep, this is the new steering wheel, the carbon fiber one. You see this plastic trim piece? If you look over here, this hole is cut out a lot bigger. This plastic piece right here, once you push the steering wheel, that other plastic piece that I showed you is pushing up against this and causing this to split right over here. So for that reason, I'm definitely not gonna include the information for the manufacturer for this steering wheel. It's not a cheap steering wheel. Like I said, they did assure me it's supposed to fit on my Jeep. I gave them the year, all the information. So what I ended up having to do is I had to take everything apart. You can see everything with the buttons, all that stuff. Everything is taken apart. And I'm basically now taking the backing from the original wheel and putting it on the new wheel. This way, it's able to fit properly on the Jeep. Also, I just want you guys to note, look at the condition that the backing came in. Scratches all over the place, little uh, imperfections all over. You could see where it has some damage. No, this damage did not just happen. Now, I did notice this damage as soon as I opened it out of the box. I wasn't gonna even say anything about it just because I didn't really I didn't think it was that big of a deal because it's gonna go and it's gonna get installed like this and nobody would ever see the back of it. But again, you're selling a product that's supposed to be brand new, charging a lot of money. I would expect this to also be perfect. The thing that I'm probably most anxious about is I really hope that all the steering wheel buttons work on this new steering wheel because if it doesn't, it means I'm gonna have to take the whole thing apart all over again. But check it out. It does look absolutely beautiful. Definitely a pain to install, but it does look good. Let's jump inside. All right, guys, I am glad to announce it looks like everything is working properly. My volume control buttons on the back are working. As you can see, the volume going up and down. The These I haven't tested, but I'm assuming if this, the volume buttons work, the other ones should work too. Let's see if the menu buttons are working. Yes, they are. Very nice. And I'm able to change the stations, as you can see from here. So all the buttons appear to be working. Um, on this section, on this middle part, I don't know, I might get like a 
like a carbon, like a fake carbon fiber, like stick on emblem or something like that. I don't know. But what you, what do you think, guys? Let me get out of the Jeep to kind of give you guys a better view. But now that now look at the comparison between the real carbon fiber and the fake carbon fiber over here. I mean, guys, it looks almost identical. Yes, technically this looks even better. This is a gloss carbon fiber, so is this. But you guys get what I'm talking about. I mean, look, this is a very affordable modification. This one's definitely more expensive. I'll let you guys, I'm not gonna show you guys the link for the manufacturer, but I, the pricing on this was around, I think it was like around 900 bucks. $900 for the carbon fiber steering wheel. It also has a flat bottom. So I did the flat bottom, red stripe in the middle, perforated leather red stitching to match the in red leather on the inside and I'm let's do some uh, beauty shots hope you guys enjoy <laughs> The drip, yeah, I'm fitted yeah, up. Fit up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Get the pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no fear. Um, yes, guys, the whole install was a bit of a pain in the butt. But to be honest, now that the whole thing is installed and working properly, I gotta say, I love the way the interior looks on my Jeep, man. This thing just looks insane. Insane. This thing really just looks sexy, guys. Look at the leather. I know I even like the way the netting looks up against like the white roof like that. Just gives it more of like a little bit of a, like a military type look. All the LED lighting upgrades. Oh, the interior. Believe it or not, I still have more modifications inside the house for this Jeep. But as far as the interior goes, man, this thing just looks sweet. We do have a couple more carbon fiber modifications for the interior on the way. Got to wait for those to show up. And we also got some other off-road modifications. I got one that's going to be very exciting. A bit of a pain to make that video. It's going to require a lot of work on my part. But it's going to be very exciting for you guys. And, well, I'll give you a hint. Basically, I got to go to the beach. And I need to intentionally get my Jeep stuck. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do a recovery on my Jeep all by myself without needing another vehicle to help me get out. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys had a good weekend. We got a lot of new videos on the way. We got C8 Corvette content on the way. We got Hellcat content on the way. I got races that I did recently with my Hellcat where my Hellcat was just spanking all these other cars at the track. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Click the bell icon so you can sign up for notifications. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.